Hello, there we are. It's the uh, Airfix's 172 Tiger Moth kit done as a uh, Austra Royal Australian Air Force uh, version during World War II when they had to cross the red dots out because there was a nearby enemy with red dots on their planes and we don't want to uh, confuse the two, do we, when they're training? Anyway, that's by the by, I'm just waffling as usual. <laughs> Uh, a bit tricky at times, but um, I've done my best to stick it together. I've, uh, I don't know if you can tell there, but I've got a bit of a gloss on the metal parts, the fuel tank, to try and make it look metallic in comparison to the uh, fabric of the wings. Or would it be fabric in the wings? That's obviously all plastic, isn't it? I've uh, painted the, the compasses silver. Got the silver framing on the on the windscreens. Got the doors down because they're ready to get in. I got a bit of tape to show the uh, seat belts or harnesses. The usual bit of tammy tape painted brown. Uh, I've got a walkway on top of the cowl in there. The propeller spins, which is always good. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do that because it's quite a quite a small uh, pin between the inside and the outside. And the because this is a whole plastic uh, unit, you've got to put the put the end the pin that goes into the propeller on the end of a stick, or a cocktail stick or something, with a bit of PVA in it, so you can just use it as a as a gripper. Uh, yeah, the yellow was a bit tricky because I used quite thin paint, so I had to do a lot of uh, coats. Um, I haven't deckled it. I mean, I'm I'm a model, and I'll say this, you know, I can I haven't got the uh, skills really to uh, to uh, to uh, rig it. Rig it. I have deckled it. Did I say I haven't deckled it? Obviously, I've deckled it. Anyway, um, I haven't rigged it. I haven't got the the wires or the easy line fitted uh, to be blunt I just can't do it <laughs> I'm not going to uh, I get irritated enough trying to get the uh, uh, struts on there I painted the um, there's a pedo tube here you can't see it very well but pedo tube I painted that silver metallic so it shows up better and it's metal, not uh, not the wooden frame of the uh, struts. Uh, the exhaust seemed to be tricky to attach, but it it sticks out, and that's the main thing. So we can get the exhaust out. We've got what I what I would have done if I'd been Airfix. Obviously, I'm not, and they got more experience than me. But where they got the um, DH of the uh, de Havilland on the wheel, it's more it's molded in. So in theory, you can very delicately paint in the DH but what I would have done I just left it as a small decal it would have been far easier and far more more accurate to have a small decal I had to measure the uh, the distance here of the decal to get the band of yellow the right width um, what else can I tell you uh, when I put a bit of um, oh, setting solution on that decal a little, little, little bit too much and uh, the white came apart so I had to paint a little blob of white on there but that's an easy fix um, I didn't see whether or not the wing t the wing thick I'm making this up there's, there's no script you see when I do modeling model videos there's no script with me barely allocation let alone script uh, propeller tips I'm not sure if at the time they had the yellow uh, bands on the end but I have put them on in this case uh, just the usual masking tape off the other end and uh, painted a couple of coats but the uh, on the whole all things considered it uh, went well it went together quite well I would put things in different orders I mean with the uh, with the instructions I could do a whole different, different uh, 
video about the instructions because I think things should be done in a different order but uh, that's just my opinion and as you get older you realize nobody cares about your opinion so you keep it to yourself usually but yeah there would be uh, I got the, the instructions there I won't waste the time with that this video I may do another video on those um, yeah there you go one pilotless de Havilland trainer from the 1940s well from the 1930s but uh, this version from the 1940s when the Royal Australian Air Force were using them for the training of you're from one of these to a to a boomerang or some other Commonwealth aircraft quite a bit of a difference isn't it and having had a little go of one myself I can tell you they're very nice to fly and very light on the controls the full size ones obviously this one this one's very easy to fly you just go <laughs> that's how you do that's how easy to fly a scale model but believe it or not I don't do that I don't walk around flying these I had a little bit of, a, bit of an issue with the, the decal here when I I put some I put some uh, masking tape on around the side on the top to put repaint some of the uh, struts and I added over the over the decal and it, some of it ripped off so I tried to start to paint it back on but I haven't finished bothering with that but that's always a thing to worry about to be concerned about anyway I bored you enough there it is the Apex 172 scale de Havilland Tiger Moth bye for now